What up, Laker Nation? You're here with your boy Kareem, your host for the day. How you people's doing on this Thursday evening, uh, March 4th? How y'all doing? I know it's been a while. Appreciate everybody who's been rocking with me. Uh, like, subscribing to the video, and doing things like that, supporting, supporting me. Appreciate that. But I told you guys, I told you guys from the start, and I said I'll come back. By February to do a recap on Marcus O. I told you guys earlier that Marcus O wasn't worth signing. I told you guys that he's washed up and it's a waste of signing and the Lakers would have been better off keeping JaVel McGee and, and could have got somebody early. They had to cut JaVel McGee because he made $4 million. They had to do well, trade JaVel McGee to do all that just to make room for Marcus So and JaVel McGee is more productive player right now. And I told you guys as far as what the Lakers need. Too many guys get caught up in this uh, big man to shoot threes. There's more to that. He don't rebound as well. He don't uh, protect the rim. His best uh, asset is being a passer. A passing big. That's it. And he, he could hit the jumper here and there, but I told you guys that's not what the Lakers needed. I, I said that, and I, I knew that he wasn't going to produce. He's old. He's 36 years old. He's been declining for the last few years. Normally when the old guy like that declines, especially if you look at his body type, even not just his body type, period. Most guys want to decline. It, it's, that's just what it is. <clears throat> they might have mustered up one good year, and that'd be it, like a guy like Nicholas Batum. He's not as old as uh, Paul Gasol, so that's like a big difference right there. So he hasn't a good year this year, and he been he or another guy been declining. But sometimes a guy will give you a good year, then fall right back into that to that tank. I watch it happen too many times, um, and it depends on on the role of a guy. Every every case is a little different, but you look at Gasol body type. How many miles he had on, you know, mind you, he played in a lot of Olympics. A lot, he, he at the, a lot of times, he came from playing in the NBA and then playing in the summer back in Spain. So, I knew the Lakers were going to hit this, hit this problem. I told you guys that. So, um, now the Lakers looking at Andre Drummond, Drummond uh, Hassan Whiteside, a few other guys. But I think to me... Drummond a better player right now than Whiteside, but then again, I think Whiteside would be a better fit because Whiteside protect the rim better. And I believe that LeBron and um the our coaching staff could keep him motivated enough with the minutes he's gonna play. You figure let's say if Hassan play eighteen minutes a game, I think he'd give the Lakers a whole lot in them eighteen minutes. You know, he 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 kinda like a, a a space cadet in a way, like his mind, he's just a little off to me. But I think playing with a guy like LeBron and, and the Lakers organization, I think the minutes he played, and then he'd be coming in and figure in the last few months of the season, if we get him, let's say, uh, the end of March or whatever, I think that I think that he he could produce enough up into that time within the playoffs. You know, long term, maybe not, but right now for a short stretch, because he has that like attention span. It seems like I think he he get it done for us. To me, if I'm the Lakers, I probably wait for that. Drummond Drummond is cool, but Drummond do not protect the rim like uh, Whiteside. Whiteside also a good rebounder. He averaged um, I can't remember what rebounds he averaged last year, but I know he averaged double figures and rebounds, and he led the league in blocks last year. So we'll be making up a lot of that. He also a lob threat, you know. So um, that's would be my guy right there, Hassan Whiteside. As far as the wing, Trevor Reza didn't play all season, so that kind of bothers me. You know, I don't like old guys who really don't play the whole season. We saw that last year with um, Iguodala. People like, oh, it doesn't. It does matter for like, especially the Reza ain't played since. Last year, since last March. So, Ariza hasn't played in the whole year because he didn't go into the bubble. See, Andre Iguodala, I believe he ain't played like in the first because he didn't, 
he said he took off all summer, and I think I think Miami got him in January. So he he missed about maybe four months or three or four months of the NBA, and he ain't played maybe like a, let's say four months he ain't play and pick up a basketball. I remember he said he wasn't when he got traded. He was into his business, wasn't doing much. But he didn't have a good season last year in the show. And he clearly declined and also. And um that that decline is real, especially when you old old like getting older, and you're in your thirties and you got a lot of miles and playing basketball. It shows. So that would be a little of my problem with Trevor Reza. I, I also seen um PJ Tucker declining, and like I said, he's small. I don't know if he's really quick enough for like the small four. I think right now, PJ probably be better off guard like more like certain type of uh, small forwards, like um, more like maybe he'd be good for guarding guy like Melo. He'd be good guarding. I think he far as Kawhi, far as Kawhi try to post him up. Kawhi's not really laterally quick like that. But um, P.J. Tucker, I don't know if far as what we probably trade from. I believe that um, Houston would trade him before they waive him because he only makes $7 million, and I think that they can get a trade from him. If they get a second-round pick and return, and they can easily get that along with some players as part of the Lakers trading for him. I know the Lakers don't really want to give no young assets for him, nobody on our team that's young. Maybe they'll probably try to trade Wesley Matthews, but I don't think that um, Houston will take that uh, right now, so I think the Lakers probably wait for buyout buy our market. So, uh, right now, I think that's, I like what the Lakers are looking for, a wing and uh, a center. I just hope they get it right. You know, um, like, subscribe. You know, continue showing me love. I'll be back soon.